Hey guys, this is Toby from GamingPCDeals.com and in today's video I'm going to show you how to configure the best and fastest gaming PC with a budget of $900. This price point is really interesting for gaming PCs because nowadays with the super cheap and incredibly performing Ryzen processors, we can really save a lot of money on the processor side and then go all in on the graphics card. And by doing so we can create a build for $900 that beats many gaming PCs you could have built for more money a few months back. So if you want to know how the gaming PC build I would recommend looks like, then keep on watching because I'm going to share with you exactly that. Of course you can find this build and the builds for all other price categories on my homepage. There I'm updating all the builds regularly so if you watch this video a few months from now then you can always go there and you will find the latest builds with the guaranteed best value for money. And before we dive into this week's awesome video, I would like to show appreciation to our community and therefore I want to shout out the comment and the YouTube channel of the week. Thanks so very much for leaving this awesome comment on the last week's video. Now if you want to know how you can get featured on next week's video, it's super easy. Just leave a comment under this week's video. But now let's take a look at the components that we want in our $900 gaming PC build. For the powerful graphics card that I'll recommend in this build, we need a lot of power when it comes to our power supply. Therefore I recommend the Thermaltake 600W power supply which has enough power to support even overclocking. Even though this power supply has 600 watts of power, it is still very cheap with under $60. It is also 80 plus certified and it has all the connectors that we need. And as a case, I would buy the Corsair 175R mid tower gaming case. I think it looks pretty cool and it's very cheap even though it includes an RGB fan, 6 customizable RGB LEDs and it has tempered glass which I'm personally a fan of. It also has plenty of space for additional fans and all our components. For the flash memory in our $900 gaming PC, we use the very cheap and fast PNY CS900 SSD with 480GB. With half a terabyte of storage you have enough space for all the games you want to play. In addition, SSDs are a must have these days as they are much faster than ordinary HDDs while still being very cheap. Now when it comes to the processor, the best way right now to build a gaming PC for $900 is to buy a Ryzen processor. And at this price point, I would recommend the Ryzen 5 3600. This powerful processor is absolutely amazing. It has 6 cores with up to 4.2 GHz per core and its price was reduced to only $175. In all the important benchmarks, it's better than its counterparts. For example, its benchmark results are way better than those of an Intel i7-9700K, which costs $230 more right now. So I think this is the best processor for our gaming computer setup. And by saving so much money on the processor, we have enough budget left to buy an excellent graphics card. And the amazing graphics card that I'm talking about is the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 2060 Super. When it comes to the graphics card in the $400 range, we basically only have two options the Radeon RX 5700 XT series or the GeForce GTX 2060 Super Series. And the problem with the RX 5700 XT series is that even though the drivers got a lot better over the last months, the GeForce drivers are still way better. They are more robust and they are more efficient. And therefore I recommend the GeForce GTX 2060 Super. This graphics card was released in July of last year and it is an absolute powerhouse. It has 8GB GDDR6. 14 GHz memory clock speed and 1650 MHz core clock. And with it, you can play all the latest games easily with over 100 FPS with high settings. It perfectly supports 4K and the new DirectX 12. And it's actually very rare that we can get so much gaming performance per dollar in the graphics card sector right now, since all the Bitcoin miners bought up all the graphics cards. Of course, we need a mainboard that fits these components perfectly. And for that, I would recommend the MSI B450M Pro VEDH Max. To be future proof in the AMD processor space, I would always take a B450 motherboard. But at the same time, I would definitely cut my spending down when it comes to the mainboard. You could spend hundreds of dollars on motherboards and you would never know it. Because motherboard performance rarely influences gaming performance. As long as it supports all the necessary frequencies of the components and has all the necessary equipment and connectors. And therefore, this motherboard lies perfectly in the sweet spot between speed, upgradability and price. For the RAM, I recommend two 8GB RAM blocks from Corsair. Dual channel is faster than single channel in most applications, therefore I recommend two 8GB RAM blocks instead of one 16GB RAM block. And the high frequency of 3000MHz also perfectly supports the Ryzen processor and the graphics card and 16GB is so much that it will easily last you many years. 
I guarantee you that this $900 gaming PC build definitely has the best price performance ratio out there. With it, you will really save yourself a lot of money and you will be able to crush many other gaming PC builds that cost much more than this. It's really incredible what you can build nowadays for that kind of budget. With it, you can play all the latest games with highest settings and beautiful graphics. Getting more than 100 FPS is no problem, even in 4K with many games. Like always, you can find the links to the components in the description under the video. If you liked the video, I'm happy about your thumbs up or your subscription. Leave a comment if you have any question or feedback and check out the other awesome content on the channel. As always you guys, thanks so very much for watching and I see you in the next video.